Okay, so the first thing you're going to do here, it says in, in part one, is put a star at zero, zero on the graph. So down in this graph, we're going to find the point zero, zero. It's right there. And we're going to draw a star. And the point is that this is not the center of the galaxy. This is where the sun is. That's a pretty crummy star, but you get the idea. That's where our sun is located. And then we're going to go up here and look at this data. Okay. And question two says, using the data above, mark the location of each globular cluster on the graph. So the first one is at 3.8, we'll say 3.79 minus 5.2. So then I'm going to go, here's zero. So the X is, see, there's five. So I want one, two, 3.8. Then I go down five, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four minus 5.2 so i would mark it right here now i don't want those other dots on the screen right and so i'm gonna graph each of these locations and as you graph them all you're gonna see that they're kind of spread around uh, a location and that average center okay is going to be what represents where it's talking in question three the center of the the milky way galaxy Okay, and that's what you're going to estimate as the galactic center and give it its rough X and Y location. All right, that's how we're going to proceed those first few parts.